branding. Hello and welcome to another Thread Daily. My name is Elliot and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can turn your e-waste into gold. I'm not really that that was a clickbait title. But seeing as you're already watching, let me tell you about a New Zealand clean tech company called Mint Innovation that's using a clever combination of biology and chemistry to extract precious metals from our e-waste. To say e-waste is a big problem is probably ignoring the enormity of the issue. The likelihood is you have a drawer at home full of old phone chargers, flat batteries, and that one wire with a strange end that you can't remember the purpose of, but remember that it is important. I know this because because I have a drawer like that too. Now imagine the majority of people on the planet have a drawer like that, and you're beginning to get some idea about how much potential e-waste is knocking about. To be precise, 53.6 million tonnes of e-waste was produced in 2019 alone. The majority of this was made up of small devices such as irons, kettles and toasters, but e-waste can range from items as big as fridges to as small as USB memory sticks. The scary stats are made even more terrifying by the fact that only 17% of this e-waste was recycled sustainably. The average 50 million tonnes produced every year is set to more than double to 110 million by 2050. What sets e-waste above regular rubbish on the anxiety meter are the dangerous substances it contains. When e-waste finds itself in landfill, harmful elements such as lead and mercury can poison both the soil and water. Unsurprisingly, a lot of e-waste contains circuit boards, and these house valuable non-renewable resources like gold, silver, and aluminium. Enter Mint Innovation and their unique process to extract these precious metals ready to be recycled. So how do they do it? The first step is grinding up all the e-waste into a sand-like powder, though fair warning, we do not recommend building any castles out of this stuff. The powder is then submerged in chemicals, which dissolve all the precious metals allowing the undissolved materials to be filtered out. Base metals like copper can then be extracted from this solution using a process called electrolysis. Microbes are then added to the remaining mixture and the gold atoms are attracted and attach themselves to these microbes in a process called bioabsorption. You can have that one for free to impress your science teachers. The gold coated microbes are then filtered out as a purple paste ready to be refined into recycled gold and reused. The circular economy in motion. We love to see it. Until Mint Innovation release their patented chemical solution and microbes, we categorically do not recommend blending any circuit boards you have knocking about at home. However, there are ways that we can all help reduce the impact of e-waste. The first way is upgrading less often. I know at this point we're all pretty much programmed to want the latest phone, laptop, headphones, but our desire to have the most recently released devices is actually a major contributing factor to e-waste. Next time you're considering an upgrade, it might be worth spending a little bit more time thinking about what you actually need the device for and investing in a more long-term option instead of just automatically getting what's new. The second way is just taking a little extra care of the devices we already have, like our headphones or phone chargers. The less often we have to replace these items, the less potential e-waste there is out there. Remember, the voice on the train saying, please make sure to take your belongings with you is a wise one. And the fact that you can hear it probably means that you left your headphones on your seat. And when the time inevitably comes to throw away your electrical items, please use a dedicated e-waste center because lithium batteries explode and Nobody, nobody wants that on their conscience. Thank you everyone for watching. If you would like to find out more about e-waste, then please check out Thread's article written by, well, I wrote, I wrote this one. So um, I'd appreciate it if you could go give it a read. And if you have any of your own e-waste tips, then please let us know in the comment below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe for more sustainable social change stuff like this. Thanks guys, and I'll see you all in the next one that uses a clever combination of biology and chemistry to extract precious metals from our e-waste. Precious metals. Remember, gold may be valuable, but a healthy planet is priceless.